Hi, I'm Rodney Smith. I'm at Madison, Wisconsin, at the MVP, celebrating Moose's Racing's 30th anniversary. Over the many years I've been with Moose Racing, it's kind of funny, you know, Sahara gear used to be my favorite, but in the last couple of years, the qualifier gears came a long ways. Uh, matter of fact, I shot some photos for the 2017 gear and I didn't even realize it was the qualifier gear until I was here at the 30th anniversary show here in Madison, Wisconsin at the MVP. But it, it's pretty, uh, you know, it's hard to say what my favorite gear is over the years. The M1's come a long ways, the Sahara gear's a long ways, and the qualifier, they're all three you know, really, really high quality gear and got a great look to them and it's hard to really choose one out of the other, so it's pretty neat. For years people have been asking me, why number 31? When I went to Brazil back when I was a young teenager, went down there to South America to race motocross, it just happened to be the number that Brazil gave me, 31, to race with. and. It was a number that I used over the next three years, won a lot of championships with it, and uh, it, I kind of became known for number 31. So when I went off to GP Motocross in 1988, I requested 31 in the FIM World Motocross GP Series, and I ran 31 for that next year, and, and I earned the number three, uh, number three for the world. So um, when I came back to America and got into off-road racing, I, I once again chose number 31 again for my GNCC efforts, and uh, won a lot of five more GNCC championships with that number. And, you know, for me, it just kind of became a way, you know, everybody knew number 31 was Rodney Smith and uh, it was just a recognition number and I just kind of kept it along with my moose racing career and uh, it's kind of a number that I could market. So uh, it was just a number that became my favorite number over the years. What's next for Rodney Smith? I just got a new job with Beta Motorcycle Manufacturer. I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, the years to come with them joining with Moose Racing still, developing the Sahara gear, the M1 gear, and the qualifier gear. I'm looking forward to a bunch of more years developing and, and helping out Beta with their race team. Uh, looking for some great years to come with Moose Racing. What do I miss the most uh, with Moose Racing and, and, and Beta and Parts Limited and everybody is, uh, obviously it's the, it's the Colorado 300 ride we used to do and the, the uh, you know, the Michigan UP ride that DB used to put on and, and, and help out. And, you know, I think the industry needs a lot more fun like that again. You know, the old days of getting out and mingling with the dealers and riding with the reps, you know, that was a lot of good days, a lot of good stories. We sat here at the MVP this year, you know, last night sitting out telling stories. You know, a lot of, most of the stories all come from the Colorado 300 ride or the MVP or the, uh, the Michigan UP ride. So, you know, I think everybody needs to get out and have fun again once in a while. I've heard rumors, and you've heard rumors, and I don't know if it's still true yet or not, but back being back here with Beta and being with Moose, uh, I got a little bit of interest maybe. I'm going to be at most of all the GNCCs next year, and you never know. Rodney Smith might come out of the retirement and hit a couple of races just for fun. Folks, 2017, get into your dealership. The new Moose gear, the qualifier, the M1, the Sahara gear, I'm a big fan of it. We've developed it a lot over 30 years. It's come a long ways. If your dealer doesn't carry it, you know, get out there, grab a catalog, order it if you can. You know, get out there and celebrate moose racing. We've, we've put a lot of effort into our years, and uh, it's definitely high-quality gear. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of being with moose racing for 30 years. I'm looking forward to 30 more years.